Making a living as a performer can be pretty precarious and many classically trained dancers have been forced to find other full-time jobs in order to make ends meet. The members of the Sarva Vidya Dance Company believe that classical dance is their true calling in life and their aim is to create a troupe of full-time professionals in order to achieve the level of excellence that they aspire to. The company presented a Bharatanatyam production titled Sam Yoga and Kriya attended. Many hours before the audience began to arrive, members of the Saravidya Dance Ensemble were already preparing for that evening's performance with meticulous attention to costume and makeup. Kriya had been invited to meet them backstage. The Indian classical dance industry in South Africa is on the rise and the quality of artistry really is increasing with the Sarva Vidya Dance Ensemble leading the way and today we're going to get to know the ladies a little bit better. Having begun her dance career at the age of eight, Reshma Chiba went on to become one of the founders of the Academy in 2010. She is now the creative director. Reshma, thank you so much for chatting to me. Where did the idea for the Academy come from? So I've been dancing for about 25 years with, uh, alongside with Anusha and Panna. Um, and we used to be in another uh, academy and uh, eventually out of a shared vision we decided to start Sarva Vidya Nachalaya about six years ago. Is there a very big market for Indian classical dance in South Africa? Bharat Natyam has a quite a big following, especially in Durban. There is a big following in Johannesburg as well. But I think it's also about trying to expand beyond just the Indian market. So I think it is growing, yes. How do you incorporate a modern style with the Indian classical style? It's not so much about bringing contemporary into it. It's about how do you innovate within the tradition so that it is understandable and it is accessible and relevant to contemporary South Africa because that is the context in which we work. It's been quite a bold move to open the academy. Well, yes. So Sarva Vidya Nachale is the actual school that we run. And tonight is when we've launched the Sarva Vidya Dance Ensemble, which is a professional company, which gives dancers who have qualified an option to perform professionally. Because really, we don't have much of those options as classical Indian dancers in South Africa. So it's about creating those platforms. And hopefully, we will succeed. Anna Baga and Anusha Pillay are the other two co-founders. Anusha has a distinguished career as a performer in South Africa and abroad and she serves as artistic director and senior teacher of the academy. Anusha, thank you so much for chatting to me. How long have you been dancing for? I've been dancing for the past 38 years. Where did you learn to dance? My guru, Srimati Satyabama, came to this country from Kalakshetra foundation where she learned Bharatanatyam from her Guru Srimati Rukmini Devi. So when she opened up one of the first branches in Indonesia, I was one of the first students who joined. When it comes to production like this, what is the preparation that goes into it? It's a very challenging program physically and mentally. We had to think about the concept and in, in this instance it was the union of the dancing Shiva and Shakti. From a production point of view, the dancers had to flow one into the other. There had to be a storyline. The lighting had to create the mood that each dance is portraying. And we're trying to up the game a bit in terms of dance and content. With the spiritual preparation, what goes into it? This divine art form came from the divine Shiva. So anything that you offer in terms of dance, in terms of Bharatanatyam, is prayer. So to prepare students to be able to connect with that divine energy. They need to understand the meaning and they need to feel the emotion. We do that through meditation and using gestures and uh, abhinaya or the storytelling aspect of Bharatanatyam. They are able to portray that and convey that so that when you, the audience, is watching that, you are drawn into this wonderful world of dance through expression, gesture, and that divine spiritual energy that flowing through the dancer, then touches you as the audience member. Spiritual preparation isn't only in, you know, the dance and the emotion, but also in the space that you dance. Any way that you perform this wonderful art form, if your intention is honorable and if you are focused enough, any space can become a divine space. What is the difference in art forms like ballet and Indian classical dance? Bharatanatyam is considered to be the ballet of the East. As ballet is very technical, very stylized, and known for its neat, crisp lines, its use of beautiful classical music, Bharatanatyam is very much the same. It's known for its crisp, clean lines, 
its technique, its attention to detail, classical music, and the same amount of hard work that is required of a ballerina is required of a Bharatanatyam dancer. For people coming to see the show, what can they expect? Sam Yoga is the dancing of the divine couple and the merging of the masculine energy, which is the Shiva energy, with the Shakti energy or the feminine energy. So the dancers that you see will be celebrating the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and then the merging of these two energies. Anklets of bells are an essential element of the costume of this classical style. And the costume itself projects the performer's aura in the material world. The dancer's jewellery is another traditional aspect and each item and garment must be kept perfectly in place. Even while the performers are warming up, spiritual preparation is as important as physical, with the dancers sharing an invocation of the divine before going on stage. As the last of the audience took their seats, the notes of the Mridingam, Nageswaram and Veena heralded the appearance of the dancers on stage. Rupam Dehi, Jayam Dehi, Yesho Dehi, Visho Jehi. Bharatanatyam is considered to be a fire dance. It portrays the metaphysical element of fire in the human body. Many of the movements are inspired by the dance of a flame and the intention is to celebrate the eternal through the beauty of the material. I thought it was absolutely spectacular. It was uh, phenomenal. The precision and the timing and everything was absolutely brilliant. This part was the la last item, the Lana. It was something out of this world. I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just too beautiful for words. <laughs> it was awesome. 